Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the library's new language learning service, Mango Languages. Mango gives you access to more than 70 languages and it also includes specialty language options such as French for a wine and cheese tasting. It also offers English as a second language which is tailored for native speakers of 14 different languages. Okay, so to access Mango, you go to the library's webpage, which is www.gmlibrary.com.au um, and you go to our e-resources section, which is this link here. So scroll down the list until you find Mango. It's in alphabetical order. So here we go, Mango Languages. Click through and this page will give you some information about Mango. Um, as well as links to install the apps uh, for using on your mobile device. It's also got a list of all of the languages that are available uh, if you wanted to have a look at that first. Okay, so to access Mango, you click on this link here. And you can see that it's taken us through to the Goulburn Mulwari Library uh, specific site. So Mango is offered as a paid service as well. So it's important that you do go through the library so that you can get free access to all of this wonderful content. Um, once you have signed up, you can log in directly here. Um, but for your first time using the service, you're going to want to sign up. So you go down here where it says don't have a profile, sign up. And all that you need to do is enter your email address and password. Uh, and you choose that password yourself um, and then you'll be signed up to Mango. You can see where it goes green like that, that the email address and password that I've selected uh, are both appropriate for using. If you've used Mango before, um, this will go red and tell you that you've already got um, a profile saved with Bango. Okay, we'll click sign up. It has the usage uh, consent form and conditions and things here, so just have a read of that. And if you're happy, click I agree and it will create your profile. Okay, uh, once you've signed up, um, it will come here and show you uh, some suggested languages that are popular that you might like to choose from. Um, you can search for a language if there's a particular language that you're interested uh, in learning. Or you can click See All and that will give you the list of all of the different languages that are available um, for you to learn. So you can see there's a really wide range. There's a lot of the common ones like um, French and German and so on. And then there's others that are a little bit more obscure, like say Scottish Gaelic, uh, there's Latin. Um, so there's all sorts of things here that you might like to learn. All right, so once you've chosen which language you are interested in, you click on the link. And it's a very simple process to get started. So the language is brought to you uh, in a number of different lessons. Um, so you can see the main units that we've got here and it's got the different uh, sections within the chapter and each unit has a number of different chapters. So you can see for the French language we've got introductions, connections and each has a number of different chapters under it. And so it's really quite comprehensive in going through and learning all the sorts of things that you would need to know uh, to be able to say if you were travelling in a French speaking country. Um, you can see also that there are the specialty units um, if you're just doing uh, something particular, like wine and cheese, romance, and so on, um, if you wanted just to learn a little bit. Um, you also have daily reviews, uh, which will help you keep on top of your learning. So these appear like flashcards with keywords and phrases. And if you don't remember them, you can keep getting that card until it starts to sink in. Okay, so we'll go in so that you can have a look at what it looks like. So you progress through listening to the speaker and copying what they say and then answering questions about which word to use. So each lesson tells you about what to expect and what you'll get out of the lesson. So let's go in. This chapter will teach you to have delightful conversations like this. Tiens, bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Très bien, merci. Il fait froid aujourd'hui. Oui, 
en effet. Bon, à tout à l'heure. Oui, au revoir. À tout à l'heure. Don't worry if the conversation seemed difficult. We'll lead you through it part by part. And so you can go back through and uh, listen to each section of the conversation. You can see the English translation there and you can replay the whole conversation. When you say... Tiens, bonjour, ça va? You are saying... Oh, good morning, how are you? But it's literally translated as... Hold it, good morning, how's it going? And you can see from here with the uh, different colour coding that the different phrases and words and what they line up to between English and the other language. If you uh, hover over, it will give you a phonetic um, way of pronouncing the word to help you uh, if it is not pronounced in the same way as uh, your common language. Um, so that is for every individual word or you can go over and see what the uh, phonetic translation is uh, for the whole phrase. Um, you can go in and compare your own voice uh, saying the phrase and compare it to the native speaker. And when you record that, you can see how well it's matching up. And you can replay the whole thing again uh, if you want to listen to it again or individually. Tiens. Bonjour. Ça. Va. So that you can really start to learn um, how you say all of these different words. When you're learning a language as well, it also has um, a literal translation and also what the meaning is. So in this case, we're seeing what the meaning is in English, but we can also see what it means literally um, so that you understand exactly what the, the word for word translation is and also what it is that you're meaning when you are saying these words. And so you would continue through each of these um, parts of the lesson. Now, let's learn how to say, Good morning. Bonjour. Listen closely one more time. Bonjour. So we'll exit out of that now. Uh, you can also use Mango to translate text using the Tools option up here when you're using the web browser version. And so depending on the lesson that you're in, it will automatically uh, select what languages there are, but you can choose a specific thing as well if you want to. And you can type in and click Translate, and it will translate the words for you. As it says here, um, it's only the gist of a conversation. It's not a substitute for an actual native speaker translating for you. So as well as uh, learning other languages for a native English speaker, we also have the options here uh, to learn uh, English as a second language. Um, if we go over here, we choose English. We can see that it offers you a number of languages for uh, your mother tongue. So whichever language you speak, um, hopefully there's one here and you can select from here. And so it will now display the lesson uh, in your mother tongue. And that includes uh, in your native alphabet as well, uh, if appropriate. So it works in exactly the same way. However, everything is in the person's native language. And then... Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. The weather is nice today. Yes, it is. Well, have a good day. 처음에는 조금 어렵더라도 걱정하지 마세요. 지금부터 하나하나 배워보도록 하겠습니다. And so you can see it works exactly the same way, um, but we have the English that someone is learning and then it has the translation in their own original language. So Mango can also be installed as an app on Apple and Android devices. You can click through the lessons as we just did in the web version or you can turn on the autoplay option. Um, so this will progress through the lessons without your intervention so you can keep learning on the go. In this mode you can choose whether to repeat the words or not um, to aid your learning 
You can also change the settings in the app to receive the lesson in the way that is best for you, such as whether the narrator speaks, whether the navigation arrows show and so on. Uh, this mirrors the web page version where you can choose these options at any time while you're progressing through the lesson. All right, so that's Mango. We hope that this resource is going to be helpful for you, whether you're planning on travel or you just want to learn something new uh, or you're learning English as a second language. So thanks again. Bye.